Hey everybody, this is Luke, and I'm here to create a solution video for uh, week 49's Workout Wednesday challenge. Uh, let's just jump right in. All right, so I'm gonna connect to the Superstore data set, and then <clears throat> let's start by searching for state, and I'm gonna just bring this out onto my view so that we can see it. And uh, I'm just gonna set it up so that we just see individual states as marks and not as the actual state. I'm going to remove uh, latitude and longitude from columns and rows here. Uh, it's just not necessary. And I'm going to get rid of country because I just want a clean view. So this is this is how I'm going to start. Um, so this this workout Wednesday is mostly about ranking the uh, sum of sales. So what I want to do is create a unique rank for each state. And I'm just going to use the rank unique function and then express it sum of sales inside of it and we're going to do the rank descending so highest value to lowest value and we know we're going to sort this by state so I'm going to just pre choose my calculation definition here and I'll just call this um, sales conditioned on state rank and this will help me find my field it's based on sales it's based and state and then it's rank so that's how I came up with the name um, moving on from there we need to create columns and rows and I like to use the module symbol and what I'll do is I'll create my my columns here by using the module and doing the state rank minus one which starts the first value instead of rank of one it starts it at zero and that's my rank uh, my columns calculation it's pretty straightforward as you can see what it does is it just gives me all the values it gives me the remainder of a divided by five so we have to go back to elementary school and see that calculation. I'm just going to set my axis here to go from negative uh, 5 to 4.5 just to center up my values and you'll see it doesn't work. It doesn't work because this calculation is created in integer. So I'm going to use the float calculation and just do an adjustment on it. And I'm going to edit my axis and now it should work just fine. Back to the module calculation. Like I said, it takes any division problem, in this case we're dividing by 5, and whatever the remainder of that division is, it gives me my value, and that's how I'm using it to create my columns. I'm going to use that in combination with my, my rank calculation here. So I'm just going to do state rank minus 1, I'm going to put that in parentheses, and then I'm going to actually just subtract off the remainder. And if you think about a division problem, this is actually just going to give me the, the whole value from my division problem based on what we were talking about before. Uh, and if we take a look at the solution here, I bring this out of my view, you'll see now I have rows uh, that go uh, nice and clean. And I'm just gonna edit my axis, again, putting it in float. I'm going to um, swap out and do a reversed axis so it starts with zero at the top. So zero, my zero value is gonna be the values with the most for my state. I'm just gonna say minus 0.25 and maybe something like 4.25 or 4.75 and these are just going to show the states that are going to be relevant to to my calculation so it's pretty straightforward um, I'm kind of cheating the system I don't need a filter they're just hidden further in the view outside of the axis range um, and then uh, from my calculation I know that we also have labels underneath and what I'm just going to do is a dual axis and my dual axis is just going to have the state name and I'll change my mark type. And what you'll notice, by the way, in my calculation I just did is that uh, I took the float, the rows calculation, and I just added 0.4. Um, and I'm just going to do a dual axis here. Let's synchronize it. And um, let's get rid of this measure names value. I never like that when it comes in. And um, the, the state values just seem a little bit far away. so. Maybe we'll go in and we'll change that from 0.4 to 0.3 and bring them closer to the state name. Sure enough, that's how uh, it looks good. So we're making pretty good progress here. Um, let's go in and add rank onto our calculation as well. I'm just going to drag this out onto text. I'm going to drag it out onto text and you'll see the state rank has come out. And I'll also bring out sales because that's what we're basing the rank on. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit of formatting. I'm just going to clean this up. It'll take just a second. I'm going to bring the state up to the top. I'm going to make that bold and make it a little bit bigger too. And I'm going to put sales on the next line and I'm going to move um, 
this rank value to the top line and let's make it a little bit smaller it will make the color just a little bit uh, less intense and let's just add the number sign in front of it and we'll center those values up looking pretty good let's just format this up I always get rid of row dividers and column dividers and then all of my lines as well uh, but first let's just hide these headers they're just kind of in there and they're bothering me a little bit uh, there we go now those are gone and we can move on and let's get rid of all these lines just don't need them need a nice cr clean crisp looking visualization boom perfect um, nothing to remove from columns nothing to remove from rows so we're looking pretty good I'm not going to edit the tooltips for this um, and I think by f our first instinct is always to go let's format our map but we really don't have a map to format we actually just need to go onto our marks card and click on color and let's set the opacity to zero and then of course if we changed any color it would just still be clear um, let's just you know we'll just make sure it's white I'm just going to go in and change my border and that's all I did here is I changed the border and now we have um, a different color border for each of our states and I'm just going to call this unselected because in the our visualization uh, they, they more or less represent the unselected states and for this next part I'm going to kind of go down a rabbit hole just of how I've seen a common mistake is that we have a sheet for select, unselected but we also have that single selected state our first instinct might be to say remove all these values um, from rows and columns and you know maybe we'll just make a map out of it or something um, but you know that's what I, in the end when we end up with our map you're gonna notice here or when we try to put all of our marks and stack them up on top of each other what we end up with is a visualization that just doesn't look the way we want and I'm gonna skip ahead here just a little bit And you'll see our instinct is to sort of leave min zero uh, on our view. And we could try centering this up, but in reality, just fade it. So let's build out this unselected ver or the selected version. To do so, we just need to bring our states out onto our view. Uh, and I, by duplicating our unselected sheet, it makes it really easy to build out and have the color that we want immediately on our visualization. And then we just need to add our labels. And of course, we're showing city in the background. So we just need to, um, well, we need to remove all these values. And we'll just add state to detail. And we'll bring city on our view and we actually um, we're going to change our mark type to circle it makes the circles too big um, and from there we just need to do some minor formatting to the color i'll change the opacity up and the, uh, set the borders to be a little bit different uh, let's make this a dual axis and um, We'll go in and just change our size of our text. And believe it or not, this is 
all we're going to need to do, we're going to add a filter on here in a little bit based on a parameter action, but we more or less have our visualization created here. So let's, um, I'm just going to go into map layers and by the way, turn off all the layers and this is just going to make our map look transparent uh, where we're just seeing the state outlines. But we, like I said, we're basically a filter away from having this visualization finished. Um, I'm going to go into the sheet now and let's find state and we're just going to create a parameter from it. And that parameter is, uh, like I said, just state. I don't need to have this list, so I'm going to keep it as a string, but I am going to uh, have all allowable values. Uh, and then we need to create a calculation, and I'm just going to call this state tf, whether it's true or false, when state is equal to state parameter. And now we have that calculation, and we can start building a parameter action. I'm just going to set this to false on our filter so when it's not selected it will show and then on my state map it will just show the state and you can already see Alabama is selected on the view and it's looking pretty good. Now let's just add a parameter action and when we add that action we are just going to say all right when we select uh, the unselected value the states on the state parameter let's affect uh, that using the state field and if we click on Texas you'll see Texas changes uh, if we click on New York that changes and Ohio and but if you'll notice when we're changing these the state rank isn't changing so Indiana went from 11 and then North Carolina is 11 um, if we click on Minnesota here it was 19 and now Tennessee is 19 so what we need to do is we need to um, get that stank state rank to show up on our view and we're actually just going to add state true false instead of filtering it we're going to add it to columns and we're going to change our um, table calculation if you notice minnesota in this calculation has a rank of one but if we select both values out of our uh, table calculation you'll now see that our states are appropriately selected and then we're just going to hide not filter but hide those values uh, that are are uh, true and then we're going to hide the header for false. And now um, I'm just going to resize things just a little bit here so it's a little bit more accurate to the solution. Let's uh, hide this title and move this up. Now if we take a look at this, we select California, New York rolls up. Uh, if we select Virginia, which is 10, Michigan rolls back into 9. Um, and Florida, uh, Pennsylvania goes from 5 and rolls Florida up to 6. So there you have it. That's the solution for this week. Um, a couple of different steps to get to the solution along the way, but that's it. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.